while we were on the Olympics, uh, Shikari Richardson, uh, she tested positive for marijuana. Um, I, I'm 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 actually proud of her for you know speaking her truth and taking accountability um, for it. I'm also a person who understands the health uh, aspect to marijuana. I know the Olympic drug testing is a lot stricter than uh, you know what we would have here in this country. And again, she was in a place where it was legal when she uh, when she used it. I want to point that out. Um, it was definitely legal for her to, to to use marijuana in that situation. She was dealing with the passing of her mom. Um, I want to shout out the sports world, especially you know our our black athletes who have really come to the forefront and entertainers. Our black athletes and entertainers who have been very outspoken uh, in regards to 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 uh, Shikari situation. Um, just, you know, I love when we come together, man. It's, it's nothing like it. When we come and we speak up for our own, I hope that something can be done so that she can run because clearly she deserves to Definitely. be a, a, in the Olympics running for for the United States of America. So I'm looking forward to – I want to see her. So I hope something can be can be done. But when you saw the situation, what were your thoughts? A rule is a rule. And I think also there are – Rules that can be amended, and I think we've seen that over time. Uh, we've seen it uh, m- more recently in the last couple of weeks. I'll leave that topic off the table because it's not sports, but um, I-, I think ultimately when it comes down to it, um, she's serving that suspension, and hopefully she can participate in the relays. But, um, you know, I think that marijuana over the years has proven that it's not on the same level as level one drugs uh, like heroin, uh, and, and other uh, more addictive agents. and um, But I think that this is a, a case study on uh, potentially uh, modifying archaic rulings on drugs. So I don't think we're going to be able to play jailhouse lawyer today, but I think this is a catalyst for, you know, to, to reexamining those rules. And, you know, here we are now. Absolutely. And, you know, I got I, I like uh, Gabby, uh, Gabrielle Union's uh, tweet. You know, listen, man. You know, smoking, smoking a little doobie ain't never make nobody run faster or jump higher. If anything, mm-hmm. you you might have been asleep before you hit the finish line. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's something that needs to be talked about. I, I, you know, the problem is worldwide, weed is looked at uh, differently than it is here in the United States, and you know, we're not even uh, in uh, uh, in complete agreement. In all 50 states, as far as, you know, marijuana, the, the usage and recreation and medical. So I, I get it, but it's definitely a conversation that needs to be had, especially when you look at two of the greatest Olympians of all time are both known marijuana users. I'm speaking of Michael Phelps. I'm speaking of uh, Usain, Usain Bolt. Um so I think that it's definitely something that we're going to be talking about a lot more moving forward, um, which, you know, and again, it sucks, you know, for Shikari in this situation, but this is going to be the catalyst that brings that conversation to the forefront moving forward. So mm-hmm. it, it definitely, you know, is going to have some type of, of, of positivity because we're going to have that discussion um, and you know we'll see if it if it winds up coming off of the the banned list. Um, but you know again that's a conversation we're going to be having down the road. Lastly, with the Olympics, uh, swimming caps, man, we talking about swimming caps. You know they they didn't want they didn't want the sisters with that with that naturally that that beautiful hair that that my 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 sisters my queens my black queens have. They did, they they tried to get a little specific. They wanted a swimming cap that was for them. It was turned down by the Olympics. Something about it didn't go along with the uniforms or something like that. Um, listen, I, I I look at I, I look at you know to, to 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 my sisters that will be swimming and competing in the Olympics. Go out there and bust that ass anyway. So it don't even matter if you got that damn cap on or not. You come to take home gold medals, and that's what y'all going to do. So do y'all mother thing. <laughs> You said it. That's, that's, that's all I got to say about that. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We 
is real as you thought. Real 